SaaS or Flow empowers you to build complex business solutions using clicks, not code. Flow Builder is the most powerful tool that a Salesforce admin has at their disposal, giving you similar powers that Salesforce developers have. Hi, I'm Andrew, Technical Coordinator at Salesforce Ben, and our mission is to help you advance your Salesforce career. Subscribe to our YouTube channel below and check out our extensive resources on salesforceben.com. The use cases for Flow are endless, and its capabilities are growing with every Salesforce release. Formerly Visual Flow, Salesforce Flow has gone through significant upgrades to give us the Flow Builder interface after being completely rebuilt from the ground up. First, there are screen flows. Salesforce engages with your users using screen flows, which involve asking questions and presenting information. Depending on the user's responses, the screen flow can modify data, dispatch communications, and display additional inquiries or information. A screen flow is called through a button or action or displayed in a lightning page or the utility bar and appears as a screen to the user to interact with. This cannot be automatically called. Next, we have record triggered flows. These can execute actions within Salesforce without requiring user involvement. This occurs when a record is either created, updated or deleted. In some ways, it resembles a workflow rule or process that is triggered by the creation and or updating of a record. These can run both before and after the triggering record is saved. Then there are scheduled triggered flows. These can run once, daily or weekly, depending on how you configure them and run in the background without you even realizing it. This is handy for tasks that need to be performed daily on a set of records or to handle jobs that run frequently. Truly the definition of automated automation. We then have platform event triggered flows. These launch when a platform event message is received and runs in the background. Then there are auto launched flows. These launch when invoked by Apex processes, REST API and more. This auto launched flow runs in the background. Lastly, we have record triggered orchestration. These launch when a record is updated or created. An orchestration lets you create a multi-step, multi-user process in a similar fashion to how Process Builder worked. There are three building blocks to every flow, elements, connectors, and resources. Elements are the individual blocks of the flow. These perform logical actions such as assignments, decisions, or loops. There are also data elements that will query the database or commit record changes. Connectors determine which element leads to which. Winter 21 enabled auto layout and connected the elements together automatically. Resources are the individual variables of data that are to be used in a flow. These can be strings of text, numbers, records, formulae, or collections. On the left-hand side of your flow canvas, you'll see the toolbox. Depending on the type of flow that you're working on, whether it's a screen flow, auto launched flow, etc., you'll see a different set of tools. In this screenshot, you can see the manager tab that contains the existing elements and resources of the flow. This is from an auto launched flow. This is where your resources are kept. Some examples of resources include variables, collections, constants, formulas, and choices. Variables are where you can store data to use in the flow. These can be text, numbers, records, dates, currency, Boolean or pick lists, just to name a few. Collections are a group or list of variables stored together. Collections allow you to process multiple records at once or bulkify your flows. Constants are values you set once and never change. They are useful when you want to refer to a single value multiple times through your flow. If you ever need to change that value, you just need to change it once and it is reflected throughout the flow. Formulas display a dynamic value depending on other values within your flow. If you need to calculate a future date based on when the flow was run, a formula will be helpful. If you need to calculate and set a currency based on an interest rate, a formula can also be used. Choices are used within screen elements to display an option to the user. Next, you have the element screen. This is where you can create new resources and elements in the flow. There are a number of different elements that will dynamically show up depending on the type of flow you're working with. Interaction elements include screen, action, or subflow. To summarize, a screen element only available in a screen flow allows you to present a screen to the user. This screen can display information from the data your flow is working on, or it can be used to collect information from the user. Shortcuts, which are only available on record-triggered flows, 
add a pre-configured updates record element that updates fields on the triggering record or an action that sends an email using an email alert. An action element allows you to pass data through to a pre-existing standard or custom action such as send email, a quick create or a custom Apex action. A subflow element allows you to call another flow within your current flow. This means that if you have another complex flow set up, you don't need to replicate the logic in your new flow. This also makes maintenance easier as you only need to update your logic once if you design your flows well enough. Decisions allow you to split your flow depending on the data that's being sent through it. Assignments allow you to give a value to a variable. Loops allow you to handle multiple variables at once using collections. Data elements include create, update, get or delete records. Essentially, anytime you want to edit a record in the Salesforce database, you'll need to use one of these data elements. These will also dynamically display depending on the type of flow you're running. If you're running a before triggered flow, you'll only get to use get, for example. Exclusively in screen flows, you can also roll back records. Resources to learn flow. There are vast resources available for you to learn Salesforce flow. Trailhead has a plethora of modules and super badges available, covering everything from collections and loops to error handling. There is also our Ultimate Flow Foundation and Migrate to Salesforce Flow courses available exclusively on the Salesforce Ben courses platform. As you can see, Salesforce Flow is a powerful tool that empowers admins to build complex business solutions, possibly the most powerful tool that a Salesforce admin has at their disposal. The use cases for Flow are endless and its capabilities are growing with every Salesforce release.